Hello students, let us understand what is meant by the word least count before we enter the physics lab. Please request you to subscribe to the channel in order to get regular updates for your BTEC physics paper. Let us start. Least count. This is one term which can be asked from us anywhere during our VIVA stage. Least count basically means the smallest value that can be measured by a measuring instrument. And the formula for least count is value of one main scale division divided by total divisions on the circular scale or the vernier scale. Let us pick up very common apparatus of physics lab, the screw gauge. How does a screw gauge look like in physics lab? This is the look of a screw gauge. In physics lab, it is used to find the radius of a wire in carry foster bridge where we are finding the specific resistance or it can be used to find radius of thin wires also. How do we begin by finding the least count of screw gauge? When we open the screw gauge, we find the main scale is inside the screw gauge and the vernier scale is this circular scale here. Let us have a more closer look and we find that five divisions up and five divisions down. That means 10 divisions are giving us 5 millimeter reading. This is 5. And on the circular scale, total divisions are, as you can see, 30, 35, 40, back 45 and 50. So total divisions on the circular scale are 50. So this is how when we open the screw gauge, inside is the main scale and this circular scale is the vernier scale. 10 divisions here. 5 up, 5 down are giving us 5 millimeter and total divisions on the vernier scale are 50. So, how do we find least count? 10 divisions are showing 5 millimeter. So, 1 division is showing 5 by 10 or 0.5 millimeter. Total divisions on circular scale are 50. So, least count is 0.5 upon 50, that is 0 0.01 millimeter. Next apparatus, let us see vernier caliper. This is how vernier caliper looks like in the physics lab. This is the main scale. This is your vernier scale. A more closer look, you can see the main scale and you can see the vernier scale. We can use it to find the rate diameter of a given uh, uh, object or any other thing related to length. We have to just fit inside this and then we find the reading. This is the main scale and this is the vernier scale. Let us count the divisions, ma'am. How to calculate the least count? See. Again, you can very easily count and check 10 divisions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 divisions are showing 1 centimeter in this case and total divisions on the vernier are also 10. So, one, 10 divisions are showing 1 centimeter. 1 division is showing 1 upon 10 centimeter. That is equal to 1 millimeter. And total divisions on the vernier are 10. So least count is 1 upon 10. That is 0 0.1 millimeter, which is equal to 0 0.01 centimeter. Because 10 millimeter is equal to 1 centimeter. Let us, for example, see how we are going to read this position of our apparatus. The main scale will be given by the division coinciding with zero of the vernier. So this can be read as 17 because it is coming in the, uh, on the 17th division. And total reading is given by main scale reading plus 
the vernier division coinciding in two least counts. So main scale reading is 17. And let us check which division of the vernier is coinciding with the main scale C. Zero, no. First, not coinciding. Second, not coinciding. Third, not coinciding. But the fourth division is coinciding. So main scale is 17. Vernier scale is the fourth division into least count. So the reading is 17.4 millimeter of this setup of our apparatus. In lecture two, we will take up the simple apparatuses of your physics lab. Thank you.